Greetings, superior beings, greetings, supreme being. Welcome to Universal Peace Television. I'm being tortured to death with remote controlled centipedes, believe it or not, by the Jesuit infant eaters that have also tortured my mother to death. And they control them with harp, with wireless energy of Nikola Tesla, aka Skater Technology, also proven by Dr. Mile. So, um, I also produce these scalar waves, which are easy to produce, and I can advise everybody to make their own healing scalar waves, because people are made to age faster. The life expectancy age of the Americans has dropped by seven years and six years, and their sperm count is lower because of the cancer heart attacks. They've also killed President Chavez with their cancer heart. But the subject of this broadcast is not synthetic telepathy to control brain control of centipedes and people remotely controlling them which they don't need any chips inside your body or brain as explained in the Malek patent remotely monitoring and altering brain waves but the subject is the types of species of centipedes that are real parasites and some people still mislabel that pseudo parasitism well, in reality, it's parasitism. They use the human body as a host, and they kill the prey by attacking the respiratory system, and they eat feces and lay their eggs in the feces of people and animals. So the species that do that are known, described in scientific literature, and I'm going to show you pictures of every one of them that have been described in scientific li literature which you can read about on this page here, the universe creator .com blog. And what is very scary is that even the common house centipede is nested and it was expelled from the bodies of people. And what is strange is that by 1953 the total of cases grew to 54 reported cases. It was in 53 and since then I haven't read anything about cases of centipedes being expelled from the human body. Though lots of people have written me that they think that they have the centipedes inside their body and they'd like a cure. The doctors have no cure, only for millipedes, which is necrosamide. And so your bet your best bet might be pyrethrum found in daisies and diatomaceous earth and worm root, etc. Anyway. Um so, the, we can read the article first. The speech engine works. So, I've, I thought myself that it was called pseudo parasitism, which is interpreted in two ways by people. One way is delusional parasitosis and the other way is that it's a type of parasitism where they first travel by another host or something anyway they don't they just enter your body at night through your nostrils they're attracted to what you breathe out carbon monoxide and then they can enter your lung and when that happens you can feel extremely extreme pain and extremely sick you may not be able to walk without panting and then it may be a good idea to sedate yourself with ibuprofen and especially locally anesthetize yourself with lidocaine, xylocaine, etc. which you may be able to get online and I think it's better to 
to locally anesthetize yourself than to take medicine that takes away the pain in your whole body because chemical drugs cause cancer. So I do it as little as possible. Also the pain might speed up the healing process of your body and production of natural endorphins. So let's read this. Blanchard, 1898, 1902. Huber, 1902. Lawrence, 1913 to 1919. Chamberlain, 1923. Garcia, 1938. Kaffir, 1953. Urtiket al, 2004. In summaries in 1898 and 1902, Raphael Blanchard reported 40 confirmed cases of pseudoparacetamol Pilipines, most recovered alive from patients. Blanchard, 1898-1902. By 1953 the total grew to 54 reported cases, 35 from the nasal cavities and frontal sinuses, 3 from other parts of the body, that is ear canal and urethra, and 16 from the gastrointestinal tract. Blanchard, 1898-1902. Chamberlain, 1923. Garcia, 1938. Kavir, 1953. In 2004, Urtiket Al recovered the millipede Napoyulus Kochi from the intestine of a 14 year old Turkish boy with a history of stomach aches and burning throat sensations. He had found active millipede in his mouth and feces. Urtiket Al, 2004. Historically cases of pseudoparasitism have been initially regarded as delusions or misperceptions, often believed to have been fabricated. However, Chamberlain in 1923 stated, The number of carefully authenticated cases is now so large that there is no room whatever for doubt that myriapods may live for considerable periods, in some cases months, if not years, both in the aerial passages and in the alimentary tract through the entire length of which they may pass unharmed. Chamberlain, 1923. It was believed that cases associated with the respiratory tract were likely a result of carlipods entering the nasal passages while the patient slept. Chamberlain, 1923. Lawrence, 1913 to 1919. In the case of intestinal pseudoparasitism, however, the route of acquisition is unknown. Blanchard, 1898, 1902. Chamberlain, 1923. Urtiket al, 2004. Note: Centipedes are attracted to carbon monoxide. Humans breathe out through the mouth and nose, which centipedes may enter during their sleep. Then they are coughed up and swallowed into the alimentary canal, and eventually end up in the large intestine or enter the anus directly. They may live in feces and compost heaps. Hoffman, 2010. A number of cases have been recorded in which centipedes have been voided from the mouth, anus, or nose of human beings. The most detailed review of the subject is that of Blanchard, 1898, who cited case histories in detail. The following species have been involved, Haplophilus sideraneus gervaisi, Cotecoline versuviana, Geophilus carpophagus, G. electricus, G. cephalicus, Lithobius forficatus and Scuti jericoli trotta. Of these G. carpophagus was the most common. Cases may last for many years and a large number of centipedes may be involved. Shipley, 1914, reported a case of a woman of 68 who passed some hundreds of Haplophilus sideraneus during the course of 12 or 18 months. The centipedes were vomited or passed from the anus. Some emerged from the nose. As many as seven or eight a day left the alimentary canal. Blanchard suggested that the centipedes were either introduced into the alimentary canal with vegetables, or were swallowed intentionally. So I can confirm that it can take years, that these centipedes can live in your body for years. I've had them about five years now, and uh, the Thalbius forficatus can live about six years. 
this is average or maximum lifespan. And I've got one in the UMC hospital, which you can see a picture also in my video, send a beat to my body, please help. This is the one I caught, you can see four legs missing. And I was sticking daisies up my ass there. I was locked up there for evaluation. This place, you can see a picture of it. This is taken with a Nikon with the fish eye lens. And this was a picture of my room, the floor in my room. And I thought this was interesting the way the sunlight. So for me, it was a sort of horror being there. This looks like a one, two, three. Um, so at that time, I was also attempting to prevent the Third World War. And the best way is making clear that Israel has several missile shields. So Iran cannot pose any threat to Israel. Not even if Iran would have nuclear weapons, which it might have in the Coats facility, which is strangely enough not covered by the mainstream media. So it's QUDS and nuclear facilities. If you Google it, then you'll find satellite pictures of their bases. Anyway, um, so preventing a world war is much more important in that area. And Israeli people are not lying about possessing nuclear weapons. Netanyahu is, and you can see it as a strategic thing. They also have the thing in the Bible, a means of deception, thou shalt do war, etc. The Samson option. Um, okay, the species is going to enter your body. That's because my father is coming up with dinner. This is the common house centipede. And apparently it does have maxillae pads. So if you see that, get out of the house, don't sleep in it. And one technique might be using professionals to exterminate the vermin in the house. Let the poison kill the centipedes for a week or two and then Let's blow it with the poison out so that you don't die of cancer and stuff from the poison yourself or move into a, into a hospital, into a hotel until you uh, have another place to move to and then check every box, etc. They're very hard to get rid of. It might be best to burn the house down. This is uh, Lithobius. For ficatus, <clears throat> uh, stain lauper in Dutch. These are about 1.5 centimeters big, so they're extremely tiny, about one third of your pinky. And these are the type in my body and in my lung. And it hurts like hell when they enter your lung, it's really painful. This is uh, Cephalicus centipede. Here you can see one that was taken from the anus from a child. These are pretty long. And there may be more in the body. They can enter during their sleep. They can uh, make insect bites on the outside of your body, giving people the illusion that they're on the outside. And I think it's also a psychological defense that makes people believe that they cannot enter the human body, that they think the idea is so gross that they'd rather believe that they cannot. This is the other species, G. electricus. These are pretty long. I had a similar one that I photographed above the bathroom door. I've got another centipede outside in Meidrecht. Uh, and they're everywhere in the Netherlands. Uh, you can find centipedes from the north to the south pole. Um, okay, next one. Geophilus sarcophagus is the most common type. So this is the one 
well, if they can enter your body, then that's enough for me. This is the most common type. Well, it makes it the most dangerous one, probably. I think it looks quite a bit like the Lithobius for Ficatus. Next one is uh, Fetus Geline. Fetus Geline Vesuviana. Well, it's interesting that it has a th thicker body, basically. Uh, this one is uh, Haplophilus subterraneus, living in compost. They eat feces and stuff, so they are useful in cleaning up nature. They can also clean up bodies of dead people. And So I don't hate centipedes, only the ones that are in my body, because they hurt me a lot and I will die if I don't find a way to get them out. So will my father. At the moment they're taking my lung. So anybody who has a cure for centipedes, an effective cure, I will give 100 euros. And I've listed things that I've already tried. Perhaps I should try a bigger amount. But the one I caught may have died because I stuck my finger in my ass and I made circles with it. So you can see here it's missing four legs. So I might have damaged it with that action, which also hurt my anus a bit. But uh, in the beginning phase, I thought uh, when they just entered my body, it's best to get them out in the beginning phase. So I immediately started trying all kinds of things to get them out, parasite free and other things. Because I was afraid that they would procreate in my body, which has probably happened, but I'm not even sure of that. So the amount might still be the same. Anyway, I thought about it and if they put their eggs in feces, then I would think that the eggs would be pooped out, and uh, but I've never pooped out eggs, only the yellow sticky poison they produce, which smells of ammonia, the biology of centipedes by J.G. Lewis. It's a good book about uh, centipedes. So they should be taught in schools. So. You never sleep in a house that has these centipedes in it. These are the species that can enter your body. So you can always rewind to look at the pictures of these centipedes. And other species might as well. Some people might die from it and they might never find the centipedes in their body. They might think they were suffering from some other disease. And then there are tropical species they recently removed a centipede from a woman's throat in India, and a man in Turkey died from centipede bites, which can be due to the bite itself, but flesh-eating disease, basically, they can carry several viruses in their venom. They can even be genetically modified to depopulate the earth. Now, what's interesting is that they stopped camp trailing during King's Day and during their G8 meetings. I haven't seen camp trails lately for a while, so I'm wondering if they finally stopped doing that. Which would be terrific. The cloud busters have a moderative effect on the climate. And of course, they're trying to distort the truth to depopulate the Earth so they themselves are not caught. They're starting to attack my lung. Ah! My lung again. And these centipedes are mounting to help with harp. They also have hymens, hybrid insects, microelectric mechanical systems, and self replicating nanotechnology, which they can control with this wireless energy technology of Tesla. 
also known as scalar waves. And the existence of scalar waves is proven beyond any reasonable doubt by Dr. Mile, M-E-Y-L, and others. And they're easy to create, to create using scalar waves. There is no law against that. And there are 15 scalar weapon countries. And they do a lot more with it than blowing holes in the ionosphere, etc. So with the cancer harp, <coughs> they do the torture. And it's one they don't want to talk about. They immediately start attacking my throat. And I get the mere idea of the torture with harp. And the way they hurt me is let the centipede bite my lung and making me cough by letting another centipede attack my throat. That's extremely painful. So the things they don't want you to talk about to be able to safely exterminate you for the Luciferian New World Order are harp, the Jesuit infant eaters, and their depopulation agenda. Bilderberg, etc. Especially not about pressing charges, also about the blood on the Georgia Guidestones, not on the dance floor, Michael. Come on. Anyway, they've also tortured Michael to death with directed energy weapons as registered by the FSB's Cosmos 2450 satellite with a K from OK and I care about it because Michael Jackson was a vegetarian. Even if he was a pedophile, if he was not a murderer, he didn't deserve to be tortured to death by the Jesuit infant eaters that rape little girls and eat infants as part of their initiation ritual. And they always have about their cannibalism. You can also read more on this webpage, universecreator.weebly.com. So here you can find some, this is only a part of the information about the cannibalism and the military order called the Jesuits posing as a religious order. And in my previous broadcasts, you can find more info about their inquisition, torturing 50 million innocent people to death, the Jesuits Holocaust, and the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, paid off fat men on a little boy, names of the bombs they used, etc. So they have the tendency to put it under our noses, and if history repeats itself, of course these Jesuits will be expelled again, and perhaps this time for good. They could also do that themselves, change themselves into something they want to be, rather than pedophile, trolls, torturers, they can become lovers, pleasures. They already have more power and money than they can ever spend. So they're after more power and they want to get that by reducing the world's population to a more controllable number, 500 million. And they lie continuously. They are Satanists in reality with standing in the core. They don't want to get caught and they're very cunning. So trust no one, nothing is what it seems. And they scan your mind, so it's okay to lie to the beast computer, which might be impossible. There's a lie detector built in their system. There's a diagram of their setup online. And previous broadcast was cut off, where I tried to show these pictures of the species that can enter your body. Perhaps I can find the uh, Diagram. Sometimes I want to save pictures to my hard drive, but the problem is that they've made something so that my computer crashes and then after we start the broadcast, in the previous time I even got a blue screen again, which might have been to turn off my skater wave because they want me to test positive for cancer, to start treating me, quote, treating, unquote, me again. 
to isolate me so they can depopulate the earth, etc. So it's part of the suicide programming isolation. They want to divide to defeat you all. So remember that the people around you do not control harp. It's done by the Jesuit infant eaters, my military. And uh, they're trying to anger you in a number of ways to control emotions of people. You can give anger, love, hate, any emotion in unnatural amounts. And that's one of the main ways they control people. Also sending ideas in people's own inner voice. So people can always think of the opposite or the next idea, no matter what idea they send. Well, there are several diagrams online. So they don't need chips in your body with synthetic telepathy. So I think the High Mems project is just to give people the illusion that it's not possible to brain control them remotely without a chip in their body to hide synthetic telepathy, etc. Oh yeah. Ah, that's one I was looking for, I think. This one's pretty good. Synthetic telepathy overview. Brain computer. Harp and Tommy. Thought amplification. Thought amplification mind interface. Yeah. Knowledge equals power. I use it mightily. And I'm tortured to death, so I must have done something wrong. Of course, that's what the beta verbs want me to believe. And if they are extremely benevolent Satanists, then I must have done something right. So if you're tortured, you've probably done something right, not wrong. Point. So I think all these targeted individuals are innocent, at least compared to the Jesuit infant eaters and the Satanists that are arresting and torturing people, people stalking people, and 30 million children disappear yearly despite this illegal stalking with synthetic telepathy. So here we see synthetic telepathy overview. Artificial intelligence, AI, also called augmented intelligence, core processes, strategic natural language processing, controlling the broadcast area, the beast computer usually speaks your local language, so these messages in your heads are not from God or people, but from quantum computers that can simulate any person as Project Immortality. <clears throat> and it may be scanning for words, keyword analysis, reporting, data mining, gathering intelligence on certain subjects, for example, the Holy Grail, permanent cure against aging. So the idea was, putting everything online. If you have 
make progress in that area so they don't kill you for it. They're scanning your mind. And as people working on the permanent cure against aging know these things, perhaps it might be best to have a hard copy of your work and to give it to people you trust. But there's no need to kill you for the things you know. For example, they've murdered these 83 microbiologists that may have developed their Ebola la Satigmira chimera virus with sticky in DNA. Uh, yeah. It's mankelijk. This is a very interesting diagram <clears throat> of synthetic telepathy overview. And so we have artificial intelligence, core processes, feedback monitoring, input output processing, telemetry, storage, data entry retrieval, IT support, ground station. In reality, they might not need any satellites. They can do it all with HARP. So they might just pretend they do it with satellites. While in reality, they do it with HARP and with wireless energy. The skater waves pass through the earth. And some types of skater waves travel faster than the speed of light on Universe, Universal Peace, the gym.com. You can see these skater orbs, also known as Foo Fighters, that have been during the Second World War already, um, making the illegal crop circles, flying next to the Concorde, etc. So, there we see in the feedback monitoring the lie detector. So, it might know you're lying if you know you're lying, and it knows it because the person can have a brain link, so that means they can even do sort of personality switch, let somebody take over your body, but because of my hypnosis, it has become impossible. So we stay ourselves no matter what. And we'd notice it if they send ideas in their own inner voice, etc. So you can hear my hypnosis in my previous broadcasts. I might now break off the broadcast for universal peace. And searching more on the Malik patterns, synthetic telepathy, might give you more information about how people are brain controlled, remotely controlled like robots brainwave is electromagnetic, so they cannot help do anything about it. <clears throat> For example, they can control muscle movement. It's all done via their bioelectric field, which contains their EEG, EMG, and EKG. And they can give people the idea to not brain controlled, so that they don't get the idea to turn off the brain control machine. So that's why most people would ridicule the idea of being brain controlled themselves. Anyway, I'm gonna round up this broadcast for universal peace. If you wanna become more intelligent to take in Colorado Gold for universal peace and also remember to take Colorado Silver. It's effective, reproducible scientific studies prove it. We demand universal peace, taxpayers have pays to be protected and served by the government, not to be exterminated, treated like dirt. Universal peace now.